Hey there, my name is Caitlin McDonald and I am here with the Social Speak Network. In today's video, we are going to be talking about and doing a tutorial about how to dynamically insert keywords into headers on a page on your website. So the process here that we're following is we have a Google AdWords campaign that's running for one of our clients. And our goal is to one, boost conversions for their campaign, and number two, have an increased page relevancy score um, for the Google AdWords campaign so that our cost per click decreases. Um, so our gal who does the Google AdWords management um, has requested that we add the dynamic headlines and dynamic keywords into the page content. So I'm gonna jump over, I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna be using a WordPress plugin um, and then we'll be inserting the short code onto the page and running from there. So let me just share my screen right here. And this is the, um, the keyword injector that we're going to be using. And so basically with this, um, I'll just click install now. With this, we are going to, and I use WordPress with the Enfold theme, um, we're going to be putting that dynamic keyword right here. Now with this plugin, you can also change the, um, the title tag. I could change this, for example, or I could even put it into some of the keywords on the page itself. Um, so you'll be seeing I have the MailChimp code here. Um, and so this filters into their MailChimp account for follow-up emails and things like that. So let us take a quick look here. Um, so this is the MailChimp code. And if you take a look right here, request carpet cleaning quote, this is where we're going to be inserting uh, the, the short code. So let's go ahead and activate this. Okay, so it is activated and now we have this WordPress dynamic keyword injector. Um, and so here we have the usage. So one of the reasons why I enjoy using this is just because it makes it really easy for what to do. Um, so basically what we're gonna add to the end of the, um, the destination URL within the AdWords account is the question mark, and then sort of those unique identifiers based on the keyword. So if we jump over to the AdWords, um, so it, we have the residential carpet cleaning, for example, we can actually change this final URL. So it is the carpet cleaning. Whoops. Let's try copying this again. <laughs> So we have the carpet cleaning and then we do question mark and then we would put in the desired keyword right here. And I would actually recommend doing this as a spreadsheet just so it's really easy to copy and paste as quickly as possible. Um, and I'm just gonna change for now this keyword for the sake of this tutorial but we'll probably be going through again and updating the page title and everything again, just to boost that relevancy score on Google. So this is residential carpet cleaning. And so you can actually export all of these keywords that you have. And again, you just go in and uh, make sure that you're updating them line by line with this new dynamic um, URL. So if I click save here, so I'm gonna remember that. And then here, what we do is in the, um, in the content, we'll use this dynamic keyword equals, and it'll be used to inject the keywords into the URL. Another great thing about uh, this, Plugin is that uh, you can set the default keyword. So we're gonna jump on over to that portfolio entry to the page um, and edit the content there so that we can get it all updated. Okay, 
So we'll jump over it. And I actually, I just realized that this is um, in the code here. It's a code block rather than a, a text box. Um, so I'm curious to see if it will work in here, but uh, we will <laughs> test it. And then I can always just bring this over to a text box. Um, and so what we want to have here is, there we go. So the, um, so what we do is we put in the short code. Um, and so this is the SEO rocks WP um, dynamic keyword inserter keywords. So that's that um, the dying keyword. And then we put in, you can add the default. And so I want the default just to be the heading that it was before. Um, but you could have this be um, uh, an item that spins through other content. Um, so that's pretty cool too. So let me actually show you, oops, and I don't think I have it up. Um, let me just pause real fast and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just pulled up the, um, the plugin page for this and in the short, um, in the sample code, uh, we have um, spin tax is the name of the uh, little element that you'll put into the short code if you want to spin tax. So this would either show text to or spin, which is pretty cool. So if you're testing out different things and you want to see um, if one of them helps convert a little bit more, you could put that in there. Um, so this gives actually quite a few uh, different ways that you can utilize it. But, whoops, showing all of my windows I have open. Um, <laughs> so here, so I'm actually going to move this request out. So I do want request and I want the quote to be out as well. And save, update. I'm gonna take this URL. Ah, and so here, so it actually puts in the underscore. So I'm gonna have to do just a little bit of work to make sure that it doesn't put in that underscore there. But as you can see here, we have the dynamic keyword, residential underscore carpet underscore cleaning. So here I'd want the capitalized letters, um, but you can see how it just puts it right into the content just as we expected. So let me quickly figure out how to get rid of the underscores here and I will be right back. Okay, perfect. So I was able to figure out how to add the spaces in between the words. Um, so if you remember the first time when I did, I had um, underscores here. And so when you have underscores, it keeps the underscores in here. But if you use the plus sign, it will automatically have a space. Um, so as you are going through in AdWords or creating whatever um, type of link you want to have a dynamic display uh, for the headline, what you're gonna do is um, add a question mark, then DYN underscore keyword equals, and then the, the keyword that you are creating the URL for. So for here, we have residential carpet cleaning. And so I put in, oops, well, I guess that's okay. Um, residential plus carpet plus cleaning. And as you see here, I have capital letters just because I want it to be in a headline with capital letters, you could format it however you want it. Um, and so we are, you know, specifically bidding on different keywords. So on the furniture page, we're gonna have, you know, professional furniture cleaning um, and things like that, just to keep it really, really um, dynamic. And so we have a different um, landing page for each of their services. Um, and so we're gonna be targeting all of these with a final URL that adds the correct code in here. And then I'm going to just make sure that it pulls up. Okay, so then the next thing that we need to do is just get rid of um, 
this quote right here uh, because we want it to default to being um, request carpet cleaning quote. Uh, so just one second here, let's head on over. Carpet cleaning, here we go. And again, I put this into the header of the, um, Sometimes when you copy and paste, the wrong type of uh, quotation comes over. So let's do save, and then update. And then... Perfect. So I just had the wrong quotation mark. So um, I'll have the short code down below. Uh, make sure that you copy it and then you might have to paste it into a text editor, for example, uh, just to strip out any formatting. Sometimes it does that. Um, but request carpet clean quote, or if it's coming from a dynamic keyword or from a, you know, an AdWords ad, um, we put in this keyword here and then that prefills into there as well. So you can follow the same process for um, the page title, for example. Um, or for the meta title on the page as well. I'm going to keep those as is right now, um, but let's see, I believe we have, yeah, we use SEO Yoast, so you could put that dynamic keyword into uh, the meta title here, which could work really well. Um, and so I might actually create a meta description with that keyword in it, uh, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, so yeah, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name again is Caitlin McDonald, and um, sorry, I'm just, oh, here we go, stop sharing. <laughs> uh, and I'm with the Social Speak Network. If you have any difficulty updating your WordPress website, we would love to help. So leave a comment down below if you have questions about this process in particular, which is adding the dynamic keyword, um, into a header on your page or the content on your page. And specifically in this case, we're using it from Google AdWords. You could do this from Facebook ads. You could do it um, from a lot of different sources as well, social media posts, for example. Um, and so it's just a great way to really make sure that the content that you're showing on your website directly relates to the content that somebody's looking for. So this can help increase conversion rates um, and make your page just more relevant. So I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for other WordPress tutorials and other marketing tutorials. Um, and thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.